It would be difficult to express in this letter the colossal impact of family on my life. On December 31st, Steve Wilson resigned as artistic director of Denver's nationally acclaimed handicapped theater company called Family. Over 14 years, Wilson created countless professional performance opportunities to actors with disabilities, 200 in 2014 alone. Wilson is a graduate of the DCPA's National Theater Conservatory and in December was named the True West Colorado Theater Person of the Year. Friends gathered at the Garner Gallery of Theater on January 12th, not to say goodbye, but to say thanks. Yes, I think everyone in this room has been touched by Steve Wilson at some point in their lives. It was like watching a master at work. I learned so much about the theater and um, about my daughter, watching, um, watching me coach her and train her. I would like to thank Steve because um, being in family has changed my life. Steve, family will forever be indebted to the opportunities, to the passion, and to the growth you have brought to family. It is your leadership and dedication that has helped to make family the nationally, soon to be internationally known company that we are. When you walk into your first audition and the questions start to be machine gunned at you from all sides, do we have real scripts and large prints? Are the bathrooms accessible? How many people do we have that are deaf? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Welcome to family. And uh, I'll never forget uh, Steve's first words to me. I, if I'm not mistaken, they were, get back! <laughs> It has increased his self-confidence and helped him to prosper in his work environment as he learned very well to speak his voice. Now if you could just tell me how to get him to shut up. <laughs> coming back to family, or coming to family the first time and being able to perform um, has been an amazing experience for me because, I mean, it's one of the few instances in my life where I can still feel normal in a lot of ways. I mean, just getting up on stage, being able to perform with everybody here. Um, I mean, it's just, it's such an incredible experience and you've been such a huge part of that for me. Summer time, time, time. Child, the living's easy. And most important, you saw me as an actor. You treated me like someone who gave it. You treated me like a peer. And I will never forget you for that, Steve. And you damn well better never forget me. <laughs> Steve always had a vision about the shows that he was going to do, and he cared so much. And I can't say there are many directors out there that just can say, this is the vision, go with it, do what you want, because I know who you are and I believe in you. It's a beautiful thing when you have that, and I will miss it. A teacher and a mentor with love to give and receive. But I know we'll never find someone like Steve. <laughs> so I'll throw this away and say it was never about me. It was always about you. And it was always about us knowing that theater is not just a thing that we do. It is who we all are. So I love you all. You are my family forever. And I will see you. I'm not dead. This is John Moore reporting for the DCPA's News Center. Follow our coverage at www.mydenvercenter.org.